what's this then? Ah, chaotic pendulum. Oh, a chaos pendulum. Wonderful. It's got quite a number of different ways of making it do things, but look at the way the energy transfers. For just for a moment, that piece of um, straight metal is still, and then it takes up a motion. So you can start with this at the top, and then let go of it, and see what happens. Big grand sweeps, and then suddenly, oh look, the other one decides, and then they join in the fun, and then it's like a sort of um, chaotic dance, isn't it? Or we can start like this with this one up in the air, like this, and then see what happens now. Oh yes, grand, slow, slow movements of that wonderful swinging pendulum. Isn't that marvellous? I suppose you can start from either side like that as well. Should we try that? Oh yes, that's different. So there's a lot of fun in this. You get some marvellous effects. But now there's more to it than that. Because the kit, and it's a kit you have to make up into that form, has a lot of other components. And would you believe there's actually four ways of creating the pendulum? Sometimes you take the ring off and put one of these on. Sometimes you have the ring and that as well. There's four different distinct ways and the weights come into it as well to create four different types of pendulum. So that's the first one. Now we'll show you the second one. And now here's the third pendulum. And lastly, here's the fourth pendulum. So all in all, a very versatile toy of an extraordinary naturally occurring bit of dynamics, which I had to study when I was at college all those years ago, of the chaotic pendulum. And with as many as four different configurations, you've got over a dozen different toys and actions occurring on this. What a piece. What a lovely piece.